Welcome back, folks. It's Pilot Kent here for the Pilot Cast with Mike McArdle from the Civil Air Patrol. Welcome aboard, Mike. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, I suppose uh, for most people, they don't need an introduction to what the Civil Air Patrol is, but I think uh, what most people think of the Civil Air Patrol is doing is search and rescue, and they um, th there's more to it than that. Can you uh, explain what else you guys do? I'd be very happy to do so, Kent. The Civil Air Patrol has three main missions. Emergency services is the first one, and with its 550 aircraft and uh, approximately 3,500 pilots, uh, search and rescue is there, and on a yearly basis, there's about anywhere from 80 to 110 uh, people, pilots, uh, lost people in the woods, are picked up by Civil Air Patrol air teams and ground teams. In addition to the emergency services mission, there's a cadet mission. And the cadet mission is for leadership training. And with that, uh, we have about 26,000 cadets. Uh, throughout our organization, we have about 35,000 adult members. And we also have about 2,200 uh, aer aerospace education members, teachers. Uh, the third mission after emergency services cadets is aerospace education and that's the one that as a retired aviation and space education teacher I'm having the most fun and with that we work with cadets and senior members adults on uh, aerospace education concepts uh, history uh, you name it uh, we get into it with that uh, we fly in Civil Air Patrol about 120,000 hours. We have, uh, fly about 36,000 orientation flights a year for cadets, for Air Force ROTC cadets and teachers. So with that, uh, quite busy and uh, most enjoyable. Most of the uh, fleet that we have is Cessna 182s. So we really appreciate uh, Cessnas as well as all the other aircraft we have with our uh, member members flying. All right. Well, I know that one question some people will probably have is, wait a minute, aren't you guys part of the Air Force? Don't we pay for you with our taxes? What are you trying to do getting money from a foundation that's you know, aimed at charities? Can you kind of explain how the, how the funding works for the various parts of the organization? Uh, funding, uh, in one sense, for the emergency services as we provide and respond to the Air Force uh, rescue missions uh, again the aircraft are provided by the Air Force uh, again the equipment within the airplane is provided uh, many uh, headquarters staff is provided by the Air Force uh, cadets uh, receives uh, funding as does aerospace education but with the expanding missions, we've gone further than the funds available. So in one word, help. <laughs> <laughs> so you're obviously not using, uh, using Lightspeed Aviation Foundation money towards you know, a search and rescue thing or no. an official mission. You're using it for education and outreach and, and helping kids along. And We're looking specifically at the ACE program aerospace connections in education and we would like to move from 15,000 students to more students in more schools. So that's what yeah we're... that's that's an excellent way to keep students motivated and keep them out of trouble yes. is to, to introduce them to aviation and that's that's where you're going with this. That's right? what we're looking at. Excellent. Is there a uh, uh, a place that people can go to donate money or find out more information about the program? Uh, the internet. Uh, everybody goes to the internet, look for Civil Air Patrol, and once you click on Civil Air Patrol, uh, there's the three missions are indicated, uh, aerospace education is indicated, uh, our teacher program is indicated, plus the ACE program. And with that, uh, any and all help are, will be greatly appreciated. Okay, well, Mike McArdle, thank you very much for joining us today, and uh, you. good luck with the Lightspeed Aviation Foundation and your uh, educational mission. Civil Air Patrol, vote. <laughs>
All right, this is Pilot Kent uh, signing out at Oshkosh 2011.